Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott, one percent podcast and one percent fitness. Yeah, pretty cool, right? All right, guys. You may say, dude, they got food on their table. I know. So I'm going to introduce you to Rob. Rob right now owns a company. This is the company, Elliott Army. We've tried all kinds of food. We've milled prepped ourselves. Um, I'm going to tell you the number one reason why I use your stuff. Number one, it's better than anything else I've ever tried. Number two, doesn't have any aftertaste. I love this shit. It's awesome. And by the way, like I'm going to let Rob tell a story. Badass story. It'll change all of your life. Forget the food for a minute. But I want to tell you how I know Rob. Is that when I started buying his food, it freed up my time. Okay, by the way, I was spending the same money going to the store, meal prepping my shit. Matter of fact, I was spending more money going to the store, meal prepping my shit, weighing it, putting it together, bringing it to work in containers, going back home at the end of the night, washing the containers. I'm sure everybody can relate, right? Um, see this little thing? It's disposable. You throw it away when you're done. I love that. I hate washing out protein containers. I like the ones that I drink, and I can just throw them in the trash when I'm done. The RTDs, the ready-to-drinks, and then you just smash them. This is like RTE, ready to eat. And then you literally eat it, you feel amazing, and you throw it in the trash when you're done, and he ships them to you like every three days. Super freaking cool. Anyways, Rob, I know you got a great story behind this badass business you built. A lot of our, our people that follow us around the world, they already use your stuff. Um, I haven't done a podcast with you before. I love your food. Everybody always asks, Andy, how do you stay so lean? How are you getting ripped? How do you keep killing it? Hey, how do you do more in an hour? You guys get 24 hours, I get 24 hours. How do I get more hours in a day than you get when we get the same 24 hours? Well, I don't have to think about my food. I don't have to meal prep. I have more energized through the day. You may say, Andy, why are you so passionate? Because I fuel myself with good food. I feel great about myself. When I'm naked and I look in the mirror because I've been eating clean, my body looks good. I'm happy. Um, so I just want to tell you guys, like, this is your time right now to take advantage of this resource. There's going to be a description box and the, uh, 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 the link in the description box. He's going to give you a percentage off for Elliot Army because you guys are my people. But now that we're done with this, we're done with food. You want to freaking kick ass, order Rob's food, change your life, be more productive, make more money. That's it. Now you're going to do what I do. Let's go. Rob, thank you for being here, right? Thank you for having hey, me. Rob, don't be smacking the lion around. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, Rob, let's talk a little bit about, you know, 1%, right? Okay. Yes. Obviously that's elite. Um, now you got a big business. You're killing it. You're doing business all around the world. He ships everywhere in the United States, I believe. Is that right? Um, so anybody and everywhere, if you're in the States, you guys can do business with Rob. Boom, let him serve you. Talk to us about, like, right now, what company you have. And then I want to back in to your story because your story is super neat. By the way, I do business with people that I respect. Okay? So I mean that. Like, I like to support people that are people that I like. And once you learn about Rob's story here in just a minute, not only are you going to love what I just said on the first part of this, but you're going to be like, I love this guy. Like, this guy's amazing, and you're going to want to support what he's doing. And to me, that's, like, super important. That's what we do when we mature up and we, we, we become brothers in business, okay? And, and, and we have friends around the world that we support because they take care of us and we take care of them. So, Rob, number one, tell them what you do right now, where you live, and a little bit about your operation. So, I'm out in Lehigh, Utah. We have a 10,000-square-foot facility, USDA certified. So, it means when the food enters the facility all the way to when it exits, it's monitored temperature wise and we are very, very meticulous about how we produce the food. It's produced with care um, all the way from when it enters all the way to when it exits. That's badass. Talk to us what kind of food you carry. Um, we have six t 16 different menu items each week, eight rotating menus. Um, the chicken, it's a big f quality, 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 right? I'm putting it in my body. I'm putting it in my family's body. I'm putting it in people I cares about, care about bo their bodies, right? Sure. And so we have NAE chicken. That's no hormones, no antibiotic ever. That means it hasn't been touched with a needle, even when it's in its egg state. Um, its mother held it in its hands the whole life. Uh, no, they're Just actually no, they're but, actually uh, but you guys cage have free. The, you guys have the good shit. Okay? Absolutely. So so your chicken's the bomb. Okay. By the way, I like a lot of his food. I've got some personal favorites. But let's talk about just some of that for just a minute, you know, like what you carry so people can understand. So all of our sauces are made in-house. There's three sauces that are not made in-house, hoisin sauce, hot sauce, and soy sauce. Yeah, so your shit's not all dry and when I eat it, I have to drink a gallon of water. <laughs> I can eat it. Yeah, people have been calling it chicken gum, right? The, the regular chicken that you're getting in a regular package. Mm -hmm. 
because it's chewy it's gross the texture's not there yes yeah but your shit is really good so i was just curious by the way your turkey's really good my partner, Tony Robbins, and I are doing our once a year free event, June 13th, 14th, and 15th. It is gonna be unlike anything we've ever done because the game has truly changed. I know you feel it, I know you know it, and when the game has changed, you're either one step ahead or two steps behind, and we are fired up to show you how to get one step ahead. There's a link in the, in the on the page right here. Go reserve your spot. We're doing three days for free, about two and a half hours a day, or go to deanandtonylive.com forward slash Andy. We'll see you there. Yeah, you, you, your tur your turkey's awesome. Um, really, all of it's really good, but everybody has a different taste bud, so you guys do a good job. You got a rotating menu. Um, you have different stuff. I mean, if you look at it here, like, it's it's vacuum sealed, right? Um, you know, I remember always, like, having to pull the top off, having to do this. I heat this thing up for three minutes, and then literally the top explode like, fills up, and then I just pull it off. And then it's smoking hot. It's super moist, juicy, and it tastes amazing. It's ready to go. Yeah, so you did a good job the way you packaged it. The food is A quality. You ship it out of Utah. Obviously, you have um, tons of people you serve around the world. How did this get started? It was accidental. Okay, so let's go into that. Let's start telling your story. And by the way, um, tell accidentally how you started it, and then I want to go back to your life. Okay, so 2013... Um, I was a personal trainer certified in NASM, ACSM, TRX, and I would train clients. And the thing that I discovered is they couldn't handle the food. I'd give them plans. I'd write them all out, and I'd say, all right, here you go. You're ready to succeed. You have the blueprints. And they'd, then they'd show up for the next training session, and we'd check in. And Everything no action. Was yeah, I was at Subway. I This was my diet. Yep. And so uh, I was over at my barber shop getting a haircut, eating one of my meals because I was going through school, working at a car wash, and I always did my preparation at the beginning of the week just to save money, mm -hmm. be frugal, and so I could stay in line with what I was shooting for, right? Yeah. Shooting for my Suit goals. Suit your goals. Yep. And uh, I was actually sitting in the barber's chair. One of my clients came in and he says, man, I see you eating Lowe's all the time. Will you make those for me? Sure enough, I was like, yeah, just buy my food. That's all I want. I want you to pay for my food. And so he had, Arthur is his name, he had an amazing transformation. And so two other gentlemen in his office were like, we want on, we want in. And immediately I understood, I'm like, all right, this is a need that people have. Um, they don't have the time, nor do they want to spend, you know, have the dedication or have the variety to do it themselves. And so that's where it all started. And I ended up in an incubation kitchen uh, in Sandy, Utah, renting one day a week. Like my first six months were spent in my house, by myself, cooking for hours on end. Very, very small kitchen. Okay, Just grinding. So, so I want to tell everybody something. Number one, I want you to listen. The build is the bitch. Okay? Yeah, you started in your house. You went to one day a week somewhere. Um, you found out that the need was people don't have time. And also, can we, we make sure we tell everybody about this because we're not bodybuilders, right? Um, I'm a businessman. I'm so busy. I have so many things going on. I have such big, crazy goals. Um, time is super important to me. If I can not do this, but I can be doing something else, that's amazing. Convenience and not washing dishes, um, that's amazing. And by the way, can we talk about how people get healthy? This is why you started. Do you know what, do you know what the best diet is in the world? You know what the best nutrition plan is in the world? The one you'll follow. That's the truth. I, we've learned that no matter what you tell someone to do, if they won't follow it, it's irrelevant. And who's had success with it is irrelevant. So your number one goal, and this is what people need to know, is that 1% fitness is made for people to stick to a consistent plan and to follow it. And if you say, listen, if he makes the food and it's all healthy, and you pick your weekly meals that you want, when it comes to your house, will you follow it? Of course you will, because it's sitting here in front of you. It takes three minutes, you heat it up, it's good food, you love it. What's the best diet? The one you'll follow. Oh, absolutely. And if you follow a good plan like this, number one, it saves you money. Number two, it's more convenient. It saves you time. It's easy. It's stress-free. You don't even have to think, which is amazing, because you can put all your energy into what's important to you in life. And then guess what? At the end of the day, you like your body starts to change, because this is easy to follow. You really dumb down, right? 
I mean, no, I mean, it's I want to understand you dumb down, and because you made healthy, clean food, and it's easy to eat, and it's easy to discard. I love that this has includes no containers and no crap, and I don't have to wash it. And I love that. And I love that you have a menu that's rotating because I'm going to tell you the reason why, again, the, right. the best diet is the one you'll follow is because people burn out. If I'm eating the same shit for three weeks, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I can eat the same shit for a year. Okay. And I never will change. But my wife, if I give her the same food for four days, she's done. And by the way, she starts to get really cranky and freaking out because <laughs> she doesn't want this shit. Right. To her, food is a luxury. A lot of you watching this right now, bodybuilders can eat mustard on everything and they can eat dry meat all day long and they don't care because food, full, uh, food, food, food is fuel normal people don't they tried that and they're like this is i'm not it's not worth it and that's why you created good food that's tasty that's that's awesome that has good sauces that's amazing that's healthy that has the calories the protein i mean this one right here has got 42 grams of protein in it right i mean 450 calories 42 grams of protein 26 net carbs, 17 grams of fat. You know what I'm saying? Pork chili verde. Guys, just so easy. And by the way, it's amazing. But guess what it is? You know what you're putting in your body. It's all right there. No question. There's no guessing. You know where it was cooked. It was cooked in his dough. It's super healthy. No grease, no oils, no nothing. I mean, it's perfect. And guess what? At the end of the day, you can follow it. And you. And by the way, if you don't want to eat that next week, don't eat it again. Go to the, Go to the bourbon chicken. Ch switch it around, change around, but you never have to fall off because this never gets old. Genius idea, but the way that you packaged it too is really easy because honestly, at the end of the day, convenience, time, quick, discarding, trashing stuff to me, that's super quick because most of my audience are entrepreneurs, salespeople, and they want to- Performers. They, yeah, they're performers. They, they don't want to think about this shit. And anyways, um, just want to tell you that. So you have to find something to follow. So you- solve people's problems because people wouldn't follow it. People didn't have the time. Um, and then honestly, at the end of the day, people aren't going to weigh this shit out. People don't know how many grams of fats are in this. People don't know how many calories are in that. People don't do all that. You do all that for them. I mean, to have somebody weigh your food and figure out the mac macros, the calories and everything, unheard of. It's like a personal okay? chef. It, you are a personal chef to the entire world. So let, let's, let's keep going. So accidentally, you found out this niche. She started renting a space one day a week. Yep. Obviously, that got booked out. Made it to four days, and then in 2016, we ended up purchasing the kitchen. Mm. Um, 2018. We've been in business for nine years. Ten years. Ten years. I love yep. it. So, anybody yep. watching this, he's been doing this for ten years. Okay, so he didn't just open a kitchen last month, and he's trying to get some business. He has a heavy clientele, and I love that. I love experience. I love that he's heard people tell him what they like, what they don't like, and everything. So he's created mastery with food. Well, and, and the motivating factor to continue to grow it is the impact that I've been able to have. It's, that I've been able to have. Uh, that I see people have right in their like, lives. I see them transform and become different people, different people to their kids, different people to their wives. Yeah, the more you like community. you, the more you're gonna be get better to everybody well, else. It lights me up. Like it's that's the driving force because it's not fun being in a kitchen. It's not fun being in front of a computer. I never imagined my life being like that. Because I've always been active. Mm -hmm. I don't like being constricted to a singular spot. But now I'm in front of a computer 70% of my day. Um, I'm not much in the kitchen anymore. We have a pretty badass staff. Mm -hmm. But just the transformations that you get Yeah, to your purpose have. is the people. All, all day. Yeah, I love it. So you purchased the kitchen. Yes. Okay. And then you guys have been growing it since then. Yeah, we, we stayed in that one until about 2020. And then we shifted over and built a new facility right during the hype of COVID. So you built your custom one. Yep. And that one's the one that's capable of like a USDA certification. Because each time like we're testing for allergens, it's like top of the line. It has to be super clean. Okay. So let's geek out on the cleanliness and then let's go into your life story. Cool. How do I know this shit's the best? Tell me some precautions and things that you guys do. So each step of the process. Because people, some people want to know that stuff. Yeah. It's, it's cool. So each step of the process, they're, they're identifying the temperature. It's called HACCP, Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. It's geeky, but it ensures that nobody will ever get sick. So each step of the process, they're taking temps, the refrigerator temps are stored. And we've done this digitally, and you also have to do it manually. Um, and after each production, they have to, to swab the counters or like different remote locations to identify if there's any 
allergens or cross contaminations available or possible wow. so it's it's cool um, oxygen is not food's best friend right so a lot of companies or groups will do what's called modified atmospheric pressure and they flush it with a gas nitrogen to preserve it we have the ability to preserve without preservatives and when you flip it over you can read and pronounce everything that's on there and in this world where like seed oils uh, hormones like all these things that disrupt our ability to live good lives um, our food is free of all of those things that's so cool man people don't understand the dis the harm in seed oils yeah so that's great because 90 percent of all the food you get has a lot of seed oils in it well the more you the more you like read labels like you see it everywhere oh yeah the things that are supposed to be for kids that are healthy you look at it and you're like Ugh, i'm gonna give this to my child that is building right now building their body building their foundation for their future yeah no ways and by the way you have families all around i mean our family orders them but families order them and it doesn't have to be every day, you know, but it could be Monday through Friday. And then remember, the best diet is the one you'll follow. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt the video. All right. So people always ask me, Andy, how do you get so much done? Like, how are you able to crush the day, kill it, destroy it? And you're just constantly scaling and growing and you're doing uh, this. Most people do this, maybe a little bit of this, but I'm like a rocket ship. And I say, well, because I don't have to think about certain things. I plan them out in advance. People don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. So 1% fitness, this is no bullshit. This is how I roll. It's very simple. I wake up. I know what I'm going to eat. My food's already ready. I don't have to think. And while you're screwing around, going, figuring out what you're going to eat for lunch, how you're going to eat. And by the way, the way you fuel your brain, are you fueling a full four tours or are you fueling a Ferrari? I eat good food. I stay healthy. I stay lean. I'm getting healthier every day. I'm reversing my age. I'm getting younger. What I put in my body d d decides how I perform. So I found my brother here, Rob. I've been looking and I've tried a lot of food. I'm not gonna. I'm. Just, I'm gonna be honest. Like I tried a lot of food, and his has the best tasting food that I've had. That's healthy. That makes me feel good. Doesn't taste weird. Doesn't have aftertaste and crap. And it's amazing. And he packages it. He ships it to me. I tell him what I want, and it's badass. So if you guys want to kill it and crush it, and you want to do more, if you're obsessed like me about winning, you don't have time to think about this shit. It's time to win. So I'm going to put a link below. And Rob, I think we can give maybe a discount code or something. Hell yeah. You know, maybe 10% off or something. You guys can order your stuff. Um, whatever, how generous Rob is today. But I want you guys to order his food. I'm going to tell you this. I order it all the time. My company orders it. And this is how we kick ass. I don't have to think about this. So I think about the big dog shit. So, and I get healthier every day. And I keep looking better. And I know that's y'all's goal too. So there's going to be a link below in the description box. I'm giving you the Elliot Army resource on how we destroy it. How we stay in great shape. And how we have an edge on our our competition and how we have more hours in the day to win while most people are distracted thinking about what I'm going to eat or accidentally putting some shit in their body and you can't put freaking 84 in a, in, 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 a, in a Ferrari. So I love you guys. The link's below. Click on it. Use the same resource I, I use and uh, let's be more productive and let's destroy it. Let's get more progress. Let's get back to the video. Yeah. Monday through Friday through work, parents can follow these and then maybe Saturday, Sunday, you just spend time with your family. That right there alone will still shred you down. It'll still take you to a whole nother level, you know, because there's a routine. Anytime there's a routine, your body's understanding the, the discipline, right? Um, let's talk about your life. Let's talk <laughs> about like, no, I mean like for real, like so people can get to know you no. because you're this great guy now. You've got this great business. You're helping all these people. I like people to fall in love with people, right? Um, obviously, you know, everybody has a story. Everybody's gone through adversity. Um, some of the greatest people that I know in the world right now have overcome the most craziest things and built the biggest businesses, including myself, just coming from this to that. Um, I want people to know you. I think you got an amazing business and I can't imagine anybody not wanting to do business with you, but let's talk about where you came from. Yeah. And your um, come up. So life, uh, beginning as a young kid, I uh, really didn't have a good influence. Uh, my mom was on drugs. Uh, my stepdad was working tons. And so it was just me, my brother, and uh, I had a little sister that's about nine years younger than myself. And having that example, right, uh, always passed out on the couch. Uh, ne you know, we didn't have a lot of money. So when I was a kid, I'd actually ride my 10 speed with my brother to the grocery store Smiths with bags on each side of our, you know, doing that, that balance, yeah, doing that balance game and buying food with food stamps. Mm -hmm. And so it's cool that I ended up in food just because like it became, that's, that's like my love language. Like 
grandmothers, when you when you enter their house, like eat everything you're going to eat. Well, I want to nourish your body. Uh, learning at a young age how to cook and that it was something that I was good at, it, it kind of set me in that projection. So I had food for the most part, most of my jobs, uh, 14 years old, I worked at Kenny Rogers Roasters. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Uh, if you remember those, those are similar mm -hmm. like Boston Markets. Yeah. And so that was one of my first jobs at 14 years old. Uh, so I could help support my mom. I, I ended up moving out from my stepdad's house. My brother and my little sister stayed there and I took off to help kind of protect my mom because she, she was making some poor life choices, like really shitty life mm -hmm. choices. Yeah. And so uh, I was always a mama's boy. Yeah. And so I left with her uh, and the first guy that she started dating post my stepdad, alcoholic, abusive, um, I ended up in detention for for fighting him because uh -huh. I watched him hit my mom. Yeah. So just a really disruptive childhood. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, you graduate? From high school? Mm-hmm. What's, what's wild is, is the last two years of school, I wasn't really pre or So the last one year of school, I made up 27 credits. Mm. I ended up getting a valedictorian from an alternative school. Yeah. Um, and the reason I was at the alternative school was because I was... In, in and out of detention the first time I went to detention I was 16 years old yeah just to d listen the, the family life goes to school it's kind of like as an adult your personal life bleeds into work as a kid your family life bleeds into school oh yeah you know what I'm saying yeah so like it's all the same like I understand all this and I love that so you work your way through this you you you, you get past high school and then let's talk about a little bit of the journey up to today and how old are you Rob uh, 41. Yeah, so from there to 41. So I I made poor choices. Most majority of my issues were caused by substance abuse, opiates. Mm -hmm. Right, I got in a mortal So you, you did what you saw your parents do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Direct reflection. I didn't know any better. Sure, uh, I got it. And yeah. a lot of people understand that. But in case anybody doesn't understand that, people are a product of their environment. Um, you're some of the five people you hang out the most. Um, if you love your parents and they're pieces of shit, good chance you'll be a piece of shit. Um, if your parents uh, are amazing and they go to church and they work in the church, there's a good chance you'll be raised in a church. Um, if uh, if your parents don't care, there's a good chance that you'll not care. You know, like just it, as children, we're developing. Who's developing the most? Our inner family. You know what I mean? But the, the thing that you hit is like the bloodline breakers, right? Mm -hmm. um, for me, the lack of parental, like I didn't have money for sports. Mm -hmm. um, my parents weren't like, I remember going and singing at my elementary school and like nobody showed up for me. Like yeah. the, the stands were empty. Yeah. And so now I have kids and I have the opportunity to break that bloodline, right? My yeah. wife is amazing and uh, she had a rough childhood. And like I have five kids and we are at every single one of their events and it's almost overkill, right? Because they're in everything. What and ain't overkill? Obsessive. You're obsessed. It's, yeah. yeah. I, lo I love it. And right? you're breaking the bloodline, bro. I love it. Like, yeah, it, it we talk about that all the time. Yeah. You're the person that's standing up now that's saying, hey, I know how this is going to go. And my kids aren't going to see any of this stuff that I saw growing up. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. It's cool shit, right? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, good. So you got your children. You got five. Yeah. You're a great father, great husband, um, obviously uh, doing super well in your business. What are some things that got you through some of those hard times? Anybody watching this right now? Oh, shit. You got a great business today. You're doing amazing. You're a great guy. I think everybody will support you. Everybody will use you as a resource to, to help themselves be healthier. Uh, your journey is super cool. What are some things that helped you through transforming your life? Um, relationships relationships and people trusting right and giving you sec second chances right and failures um there's so many times i've failed and you know it off it want to give up right where it's like I, i'm done i can't do this anymore but stepping back up showing back up and having a strong supporting you know like i've been with my wife for almost 10 years mm -hmm. and her influence on me it, like i'm a completely different person from when she originally met me yeah and 
just that, cool. that strength, right? Strength, support, unconditional love, and tenacity. Just showing up every single day, even if it's not a good day, still showing up and figuring out how to make it a good day. Yeah, the only way you can get beat is if you quit. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then at the end of the day, it seems like you have a different perspective in life, which means you try to find the good in everything instead of finding the bad in everything. Because there's bad in everything, and there's also good in everything. And everything, everything that's going on all day long, there's good and bad. And so what you choose to focus on is what you feel. You know what I mean? And so if we don't let the bad bother us, we focus on the good, we're just going to keep growing. Real like it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so let's talk a little bit about um, some, some, some adversity that you've overcame is you kept a good mindset, kept a good perspective. Um, obviously, you didn't want to be anything like your parents or your family growing up. I mean, right? I'm not saying you don't love them, but you don't want to be like them. Um, who, who, so who did you look up to? Who did you want to be? Who are some people in your mind that you've, you've been inspired to be through your life? Man. Uh, or be like? The, the pickings, as a, as a youth, the pickings were small, right? Like my grandfather was in a wheelchair. There was really not a male figure until about 18 when my, when my dad stepped back in. Mm -hmm. But I, again, I stopped. I kept making poor choices, uh, like ones that really harmed my life until I was about 28. Yeah, because and well, kids are developed up till about 13 years old. So your dad coming into 18, you were already developed as a man. You know what I'm saying? It's like you want to affect a kid. It's like three to thirteen. Those are the ages. So you get a hold of a kid after thirteen. He's going through puberty and he's got his testosterone running. And he he's knows going everything. crazy. Well, yeah, but he's already been trained. You know what I mean? And that's the way he operates. Um, so, what about like in the world figures? You know, like someone maybe you looked up to. Like, you know, when you were a kid, did you like watch Arnold Schwarzenegger? When you got older, like, like who did you watch? Like as silly as it sounds, like. I remember the people that I used to think about when I was pushing myself, and who's somebody that comes to mind? Uh, in initially, Michael Jordan. Cool. Right? What did you like about him? Just his continued grit, and just the, like, he was a winner, right? Uh -huh. And his his mindset and his fight, like, he was obsessed, mm -hmm. right, with the game, and he didn't want to take a loss, like, for anything. He would show up. I, I remember watching him play against the Jazz. I'm from Utah, mm -hmm. and they announced at the beginning, they're like, oh, Michael Jordan's sick, but he's still going to play. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt the video. All right, so people always ask me, Andy, how do you get so much done? Like, how are you able to crush the day, kill it, destroy it, and you're just constantly scaling and growing, and you're doing uh, this? Most people do this, maybe a little bit of this, but I'm like a rocket ship. And I say, well, because I don't have to think about certain things. I plan them out in advance. People don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. So 1% fitness... This is no bullshit. This is how I roll. It's very simple. I wake up. I know what I'm going to eat. My food's already ready. I don't have to think. And while you're screwing around, going, figuring out what you're going to eat for lunch, how you're going to eat. And by the way, the way you fuel your brain, are you fueling a full four Taurus or are you fueling a Ferrari? I eat good food. I stay healthy. I stay lean. I'm getting healthier every day. I'm reversing my age. I'm getting younger. What I put in my body d d decides how I perform. So I found my brother here, Rob. I've been looking and I've tried a lot of food. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, I've tried a lot of food. And his has the best tasting food that I've had that's healthy, that makes me feel good, doesn't taste weird, doesn't have aftertaste and crap. And it's amazing. And he packages it. He ships it to me. I tell him what I want, and it's badass. So if you guys want to kill it and crush it and you want to do more, if you're obsessed like me about winning, you don't have time to think about this shit. It's time to win. So I'm going to put a link below, and Rob, I think we can give maybe a discount code or something, oh, yeah. you know, maybe 10% off or something. You guys can order your stuff, um, whatever, how generous Rob is today, but I want you guys to order his food. I'm going to tell you this. I order it all the time. My company orders it, and this is how we kick ass. I don't have to think about this, so I think about the big dog shit. So, and I get healthier every day, and I keep looking better, and I know that's y'all's goal too. So there's going to be a link below in the description box. I'm giving you the Elliot Army resource on how we destroy it, how we stay in great shape, and how we have an edge on our competition and how we have more hours in the day to win why most people are distracted thinking about what I'm going to eat or accidentally putting some shit in their body and you can't put freaking 84 in a, in, a, in, a, in a Ferrari. So I love you guys. The link's below. Click on it. Use the same resource I, I use and uh, let's be more productive and let's destroy it. Let's get more progress. Let's get back to the video. And he crushed it. He still had a hell of a game. And I remember as a kid, 
again, I didn't have money to play sports. I feel like I would have excelled mm -hmm. really well just because my obsession with things. Mm -hmm. If I would have applied it to that, it would have been great. But my neighbor across the street, they had a basketball court, and we would, I would go sit outside uh, and just shoot hoops, like tell the sun up to sun down, sun up to sun down. I'd sit on the side of my house with a, the racket balls mm -hmm. and a baseball glove against the wall for hours and hours. Yeah. And then I'd ask my old brother, I'm like, hey, uh, come out and play with me. Busy. Yeah. Busy. Yeah, so we were always searching mm -hmm. for where you fit in and where you belonged. Yeah, so everybody, uh, just a couple things, and I want to say, like, number one, listening to Rob, um, a lot of people, uh, I, I call it, like, everybody's obsessive about something. Uh, some people may be obsessive about about tech, about uh, social media. They may be obsessive about playing games, like maybe you like playing Call of Duty. And y you may say that you're not obsessed, but you are. And you may say that you're not addicted. You are, because you continually go back to it every day. Every day you find time for that, right? Like drugs and addiction, every day you'll try to find your time for drugs because it's a priority or drinking or whatever. But also when you understand that these addictions, they're just, you're obsessed and you're addicted to something. And if you can just replace that something with something else, then you'll be just as obsessed about that other thing, except for now it could be a good thing. And so basically throwing the ball against the wall right going outside shooting hoops all day long dude you were bored so you found trouble and you didn't have a circle to get in and so if you don't have a good circle to get in you're going to end up running the wrong circle or you're going to be on your own making bad decisions everybody's looking for something everybody's looking to fit in everybody's looking to find a, a, a tribe you know what i mean to run with and who you decide to run with will determine what, how your life operates right what kind of leadership skills you build what, how you speak how you talk how you believe in people, whether you're good or whether you're bad. And by the way, if you put me around a whole bunch of bad people and all the good people disappeared, I mean, you'd probably look up in six months and I'd be a bad person. Not because I'm a bad person, just because a product of who I'm hanging around is bad. So iron sharpens iron. It could make it dull. It could make it sharp. It could do whatever. Whoever you're around is what's going to happen. You know, and a lot of people get rusted out just because they're around rusty ass people. And so now... You got your family, you got your wife. When you got with your wife, you said some things that she really inspired you to be a better person and you've changed so much around her. Well, man, dude, just proves one good person can change your whole life. You know, and now you change your life for your kids. Now you got your big, beautiful business. You know, now you're servicing people all around the world. And, you know, as we were talking about your kids, you're kind of getting a little bit emotional. You know what I love? When you anchor your goals, like I was talking about yesterday, when you anchor your goals, your why I'm doing this to something that's emotional, you build something beautiful. And so when he says I'm passionate about food, you know, like I love this, I'm good at this. You know, I understand that this right here can take care of my family, but I can only take care of a lot of other families. A guy like this, who, as a kid, he probably craved love his whole life, right? As you got an adult, right? Now you're finding love all over the place by helping other people. And that big hole in your heart, you can make as much money as you want and do whatever you want, it's not gonna fill that hole. The only way that that hole will ever get filled in your heart is to truly take care of other people. And that's the greatest thing we can ever do. So Rob has built a company out of literally allowing people to get their time back, to not have to think about food, to have good tasting healthy food with a rotating menu, menu every single week that literally is amazing. It's super easy to discard, three minutes to heat up, packages super well, no aftertaste, super cool, ingredients weighed, personal chef, and it's simple. They send it right to your front door. Okay. By the way, there's lots of programs. There's lots of things where people have different kinds of stuff. Um, I'm going to tell you how I operate. Number one, I like Rob. I like Rob's heart. I love Rob's product. We're going to talk about two things here. I love his product. His product's amazing. And I'd recommend anybody, everybody watching this, get on a routine. The best routine, the best way to get in shape is to follow a routine. What's the best diet? The one you'll follow. You can just pick it. You just get on there every couple of days. You can just pick out what you want and you just new shipment, new shipment, new shipment, new shipment. Okay. Maybe you follow it four days a week. Okay. Go three days on your own. Okay. But I promise you, once you see what your body will do after you're following a schedule and it's easy like this, you're going to be like, dude, I'm doing this seven days a week. But even if you did it Monday through Friday and you took off on the weekends, your body would still change dramatically. And you would allow yourself to have hours back per day and time. And your mind wouldn't even have to think about like what to do. Um, 
with food because you could just focus on attacking what's important to you in life because it's already there. Um, I don't like to think about certain things. You know, they talk about people that are really successful. Like, they don't have to think about what they're going to wear. They don't spend time on stupid shit like that. Like, they know what they're going to wear. So that's pretty easy. Like, I, I know exactly what I'm going to do every day. Um, a lot of people waste a lot of time thinking about stupid shit. I have so many important things to do. If you don't have a big life, you have time to waste. Okay? If, if you want a big life and you want an important life, you can't waste any more time. So this is a good way to get your time back and really allow you to dial in. And like I said, everybody's in business. I call it the corporate athlete. Like if you're going to be in business, like you got to look good. You're a walking billboard. This will allow you guys to build your best body. So I want to tell you guys, number one, you guys have met Rob. He's super amazing. 1% fitness. So badass. There's going to be a link in the description box below. There's going to be a little coupon code you guys can use um, to save yourself some money. But most importantly, I want you guys to support Rob. He's an amazing dude. Um, I, I want you to see how he takes care of you when he sends you this. His service is unreal. And then when your body changes, obviously he'll have a fulfilled heart. When you get all your time back, when you get healthier and you get everything, guess what? It's a two-way street. Everybody wins. It's so awesome, guys. And he's got so many good foods. He can name all of it, but it's not about the menu. And by the way, I love that you rotate your menu all the time. Most people don't do that. You keep it fresh. Yeah, yeah. You keep it fresh and you keep it creative. You know why? Because you were a personal trainer at one point in your life and you know what we go through. You know that I'm going to get sick of eating this shit next week and I want something else. And instead of me breaking my plan and my routine, all I have to do is go to the menu and just try new types of food. Like, it's amazing. And then you always have your personal favorites, right? That you're like, dude, I like that shit every day. I love it. But my point is, is that you can change it around. And that right there, that variety allows you to stick to this routine. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Okay. One last thing you want to say, Rob, before we close it out? Oh, man. Um, I appreciate the message that you you bring, uh, the intensity, the – you really don't – give a damn what people think right you're mm -hmm. disrupting right and so initially when this started it was like i'm battling the fast food mm -hmm. i'm battling the poor choices and uh having that as my stake uh, or my opportunity to give back um it fills me right because there's again there was many years where i would not be proud of who i was what i did or i wouldn't um i, I didn't love myself yeah. and helping people discover who they are to their core by changing something that's just as simple as food right they, they well, well food helps people feel a certain way and your identity and your self-worth is pretty freaking important okay so if people don't feel good about themselves they don't like the way they look they're probably going to think less of themselves they're not going to feel worthy we're in a generation right now where people don't feel worthy okay so like this is bringing worth back to individuals you'll never out earn your own self-worth you'll never out earn your own self-image you're helping people feel a different way and see a different image in themselves. Without, with, without a filter. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, here's the deal. Dude, they don't make statues of critics. When's the last time you see them make a statue of the haters? Have you seen one? No. No, they make a statue of the people who are the doers and the dreamers. The people that actually get out there and make a fucking difference. So, when you guys see our statues, you'll love them. They'll never see your statue if you're hating. Okay? So, if you want to go do some big shit, Rob... Like you're doing. Let's go. You guys, here's your opportunity. Let's get in great shape. Let's get shredded. Let's go show Rob some love. Make sure you share this with someone. If you know someone who needs to get in good shape, maybe this is what they've been needing. Send this this video over to them. And then lastly, um, there's going to be a discount code in the, in the, in the uh, description box below. Let's go kick ass. Let's make this the best year of our life. We'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.